Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Daily Stoic Conversations. Hi, hi. We are on May 15th. May 15th. Halfway through May. Cool means. Let's All do right. it. All right. We're going to talk about count your blessings. Mm. Okay. I like it. Let's do it. It's time to be grateful. <laughs> Marcus Aurelius has a quote. Don't set your mind on things you don't possess as if they were yours, but count the blessings you actually possess and think how much you would desire them if they weren't already yours. Mm. But watch yourself that you don't value these things to the point of being troubled if you should lose them. Mm. Yes. Mm. What a cool recipe. Don't set your mind on things you don't possess as if they were yours. So is that saying like, don't covet, don't be envious of what someone else has? Mm -hmm. How is it again? That's don't important. set your mind on things you don't possess as if they were yours. Like, oh, like, I, I got you, like, like you want something really, really bad or something? Is that what That's what I'm re thinking it is. Like, want it, but don't want it so badly. And, and I, I, I connect with that because there, um, there are other, other quotes and sayings that I've came across that kind of were hinting on the same thing. It's kind of like, like the more... The, the more you want it, the further it gets from mm -hmm. you or something. And so then there is this reversal of that. Like, oh, if I don't want it as much, it will actually come to meet me closer or something. Mm -hmm. And I've experienced this in different places, different things. I'm like, man, like I just, um, I want it so bad. Like I got to, I got to let go. Right. And when I, when that happened, um, that's when that started to like showing up new things in that in that realm it, yeah. it's not necessarily maybe i got a, what i it's not that i got it what i exactly wanted but but the movement towards that happened by letting go more yeah yeah something like that in there but yeah so i i I'm, i i like that a lot yeah yeah and it's good to like remind myself that uh, once in a while of like i really was connected with what he said about like tr like Imagine the things that you possess as you, if you didn't have them. Mm -hmm. um, like think very rarely much... I look at it like that. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> it's easy for me to think that like life sucks because I don't have the yeah, things that I want. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, I'm mm -hmm. not, I'm ignoring the fact that there's all either through my hard work or just the luck of the draw no, or just being yeah just being here whichever yeah. whichever it is there are things in my life that if they that i take for granted that if they weren't here i would be like oh man so interesting you said for granted is it for granted means you're not doing this yeah for for granted means i don't think about them as if i if they were not here i would miss them really much. yeah okay yeah but at this and then and then he's saying uh don't chase the stuff that you you want want, want so bad right don't don't chase it very that's hard you you want to go get that thing but it's not so rigorously right then like let go uh whatever the second point was right like like counting your blessings counting your blessings like yeah like uh, think about the stuff that you already have and then the last one is like for both of these is is like not too much really is is what i'm hearing is like don't want it too much and then also don't be so married to the thing you already have to the point that if you would have lost it um you would be devastated you would maybe be like you i i look at it like 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 playing guitar like what if one day there is like you can't you you lose your arm like you can't play it anymore 
right? Or something, right? Like, how would I, I imagining myself of like, oh my God, that would be like so terrible. Like that would be like almost feels like end of my life or something. But then I've had other moments where I'm like, oh, this is, this is, you know, I've heard some, something similar somewhere. And so I go like, oh, like I got to have a more different relationship. Like, yeah, there might be one day where I'm not going to be able to do it. And then and, and it's okay. Yeah. You know, as, as much as I love doing it and as much as I want. And, and that actually gives me more, um, like passion and about it. Like I want to go do more of it because of it, because I'm like realizing that there might be a day that I will not be able to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Let's say before I die, right? Like, like, you know, of course the day I die is the day I stop (laughs) doing it. But, um, but, and, and so wouldn't that be, that's in my, uh, book, like that would be such a blessing to be able to like, play guitar on my last day it would be so sweet that i never reached the point of that i cannot do this for some other reasons like you know mental physical you know some other you know some other reason of not doing it you know but if it happens it's cool yeah you have to keep it like that or something yeah in order for me to for for me to for it to work in me or something you know and that's so. the recipe he's yeah, suggesting yeah, yeah. essentially yeah that's very cool good reminder to keep there's those blessings i think that they get that gets away from me the most yeah like um you know the other ones the other ones are like kind of uh, part of my life or something more yeah. but the blessings are like man like like so lovely that we are able to just be and have all this time even with this right like it's so yeah, yeah. the the oh. blessings are difficult for me because they feel invisible mm-hmm. i don't notice them as much as i notice the stuff that i don't have that i wish that i had yeah, yeah. and so it requires a little bit more um a little bit more conscious thinking to drum up all of my blessings. And usually like I had this moment maybe six months ago or something like that, where I was trying to kind of in our morning meditations, I would try to like go on this kind of gratitude train of listing off different things that I was grateful for. Mm -hmm. And I was having actually a really hard time coming up with the things Mm -hmm. to be grateful for. And, and it would stop, like I would say the same things that I said the day before, and then it just started to feel repetitive and like, 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 what's the point of this? this? I'm not actively engaging with this. I just memorized what I said Mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, Oh, well it's because I have a really hard time identifying Mm -hmm. the things to put on that list. And then I thought about it in this other way where I was like, well, what if like, I was just trying to like unlock some, unlock some forward movement for myself. So I was like, well, what if I think about this in terms of luck? Like what have I been really lucky to experience Mm -hmm. or be endowed with or to possess or like whatever the case is. And as soon as I like framed it to myself like that, it was like the floodgates opened and it was like, oh my gosh, yeah, like how lucky to have been born in Southern California in like 1988 and not on this other side of the world in 1988 or here 300 years ago or like whatever the case may be. Like it just, it it was like this snowball effect of like, yes, like kind of my entire life Mm -hmm every circumstance in my life there is a blessing there to be grateful for and it's so easy for me to i i just never grew up with the gratitude way of expressing or thinking i didn't really see it modeled to me or it never occurred to me actually to be grateful for things it occurred to me that life sucked so it's been like a process of moving away from life sucks into like wow what this amazing experience that I get to participate in. Mm, amazing. All right, let's read Ryan. Mm, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. We regularly covet what other people have. 
We desperately try to keep up with the Joneses. All the while, the Joneses are miserable trying to keep up with us. It would be funny if it weren't so sad. So today, stop trying to get what other people have. Fight your urge to gather and hoard. That's not the right way to live and act. Appreciate and take advantage of what you already do have and let that attitude guide your actions. Mm, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a good one. <clears throat> because there is this thing of like wanting to like, well, I, I, I might say like, well, I don't want the, thing, the things that other people have. But that's not true. Like maybe I don't want like material things that other people have. Like mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not in, in like, uh, oh, I want a better car or I want a better house or, or something or like some things, right? But it's, but, but I do want something that they have and I see myself in a way that I don't have it. Let's say my, my friend Henry taught, right? Like, mm -hmm. like he, uh, he, in my eyes, achieved what I want for myself. So his success. His success, but it's not success in in a form of money. But it's the it's the like I am I am being called to play my instrument, and they are they need me, and they want me, and they are willing to pay for it. And now this is my life. Yeah, that is his life, and like I my life is not that. Right. But I want my life to be that, right? So then now I'm wanting something that these other people have and achieved. And, and maybe I go like, well, no, my life cannot be like that. It could, I could still have that thing that I'm going for, maybe the successful thing of making money with music. But, but it's not necessarily like, it's not going to look like Henry's path or Henry's uh, and how does it look like it looks to me to me that way right I look at his life and say his life is like this and that therefore it seems perfect and I want that but but to him his life maybe doesn't feel that way he or, or that other people he might have else. some some of course and so I'm acknowledging these all these different point of views and I'm I'm looking at his life as his life is perfect or something right but uh, but I don't look at my life as my life is perfect. So this, that's, uh, that's the, that's the um, kind of a, a takeaway yeah. from it. It's just like, like, no, like you do have the things that the people you think that they are successful, that they have. You have that too. But, but you want it in some way, how they got it. Yeah. And, that, and it's not happening that way here. Here it's happening different way. Are you, am I aware of how it's, how is it happening here? That is where the dog is buried. Yeah. Well, because when you're, <laughs> that's the kicker when, right there. <laughs> it's dawning yeah. on me that like when I'm coveting what somebody else has, what I'm actually doing is I'm hyper focusing on the, the outcome. I sort of see the mm -hmm. outcome of what somebody was able to accomplish or buy or achieve or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like craving that outcome. But meanwhile, like the process by which they live, that that outcome is like an output of that process is like very invisible to me. It's blurry to me. It's hidden because everybody's process is hidden. Um, but what it, that the coveting then does to me is it puts me in a frame of mind where I'm constantly obsessing over outcomes mm -hmm. instead of being like, no, like, let me create a process by which I live every single day that, yes, there are like better outcomes on the other side than if I live according to a different process where I'm like shooting up heroin every day or something. Right. But like the outcomes are really none of my business. My business is trying to create a process by which I'm living that I can go to bed every day and be like, oh, wow, like this was a like cool life feels good. This was like, a cool yeah, way yeah. to spend today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then like hopefully at the other side of it is some outcome that looks like Henry's or some outcome that mm -hmm. looks like whoever it is that I'm admiring. Yep. But I'm not obsessing over the outcome. I'm trying to build this process. And what Marcus is talking about is like 
gratitude is part of this process, like being thankful for the blessings that I, aware of the blessings that I have, first of all, because that's my problem too, is being aware of it. Mm -hmm. Being aware, being grateful, at the same time, not attaching or, cl or clasping onto it in case it goes away from me at any point. Mm -hmm. And also not looking too much at what other people have going on and saying, I want that. And so this that he's talking about is actually a process by which to live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a like a process, like a system of system of how to look at it all. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Good deal. All right. Well, good uh, conversation, and thank you for joining at home. Leave us a comment if you got something to say, because I'm sure you're thinking about things and you can't say anything to us. So say something. <laughs>